What is up guys? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again. And today I'll be showing you how you can increase your conversion rate with this lovely looking product add-on section right here. It is also working that simple. So you just have to switch this little button right here and then click on add to cart. And if you check your cart actually, you can see that the stool is also getting added to your store. It's a lovely way to up and cross sell different products which maybe relate to the ones you're actually buying. And I'm gonna show you how you can install and also customize it to your likings. The first thing I did for that was that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app. Section store is a component library, which does come with over 200 fully customizable components. Also a few of those are premium components, which also do come with a little charge, but I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be sure worth it. So the one we will be having a look today on is the product add-ons we just checked out in the test store demo version. It does come with a one-time charge of $9. It means if you bought it once, you will own it forever. And at the end of the day, you're not gonna need an expensive developer. You will save yourself a lot of time and also strike a pretty good deal. And if you think about it like that, if you can just sell one product, it's already worth it. So I think it's a pretty much a no-brainer. So yeah. Hopefully I could convince you with that. And after successfully getting that section, just head back to the My Sections area of the app where you can find a collection of all the sections you already own. This is the one we just got. So I'm gonna add it to the theme I'm using. My guess it's the Dawn Live theme. It does work on every theme though, so you don't have to worry about that. And then simply open up the theme editor with the theme you're using, still the Dawn Live theme. And I'll head on over here. So this is the one we just saw and I'll just get rid of that one. So you can, we can start here completely from scratch. Let's let it load up and click on add sections, type in product add-ons and it should already appear. Yeah, that is the one. Let's save it up real quick so we can be sure it is getting displayed properly. We don't want it like that. Let's give it another little save up. So yeah, of course we have to add a product first, click on that, select the product and we're going to go with this little thing right here and we should be able to see it after saving it up and here the extra product is getting displayed any second. So yeah, that is the one that is working perfectly. We can decide what color this little batch is having. So maybe we want to pick red. So it's attracting even more attention. Always make sure you save it up after you implemented it. So all the changes will get done for it. Yeah, that is looking good. And yeah, that is pretty much how you can customize this little block right here. We could also have the option to add another one. If you're not happy with the image, you can always upload your own, but I'm just gonna stick with this one. And also the batch color is something we could change. The batch is this thing right here but I'm just gonna stick with white. And if we wanna do customizations to the whole block itself, just click on the main block. You can decide where it's getting displayed. So if we wanna have it below buy buttons or above the buy button, that is possible too. Save it up again to see how it's gonna look like. So I think we're just gonna keep it right here. That's a nice position. Definitely gonna attract the attention of your customers. And here are some more things we can change. So if we type in, check it out this would get changed and instead of limited time, we could do a special offer right here. And if it would be sold out, that just be sold out. But yeah, a lot of customization options we have in that whole thing. I'm just gonna fly over it real quick. So I'm not gonna take up too much of your time because at the end of the day, you wanna have it to your likings and your brand identity. The price is something we could make a little bit smaller maybe. So the product stands in the middle of a tensioner and yeah, batch size, maybe make it a bit bigger. Also for mobile, the whole thing is fully responsive. So if we hover on over here, you can see it is working on mobile as well. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see we could add some arrows right here if there would be more than one product. And yeah, those are all the colors we can change in that whole thing. But yeah, I don't wanna go into detail too much because I pretty much showed you how the whole section works already and the customizations are something for you at the end. Lazy load is activated. So that image is getting only loaded if it's actually getting shown. But now we're gonna save it all up, check it out if it's working. So let that load up, give this a little reload. And here we can see 
the one we added. Let's tick that box right here, add it to the card. And if we did everything right, this little Sydney plate should appear in our card, which it successfully does. I'm happy with that. And I hope you guys are happy as well. And if you have any questions or whatsoever, just let me know in the comment section. And I'm always happy to help. But yeah, if you like it, feel free to leave a like and a comment. And have a good one and peace out.